Fallen NYPD policeman Jason Rivera bid farewell to heroes at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Moron, police shootings off-duty cop shoots stabbing suspect outside UWS Dwayne Reed. Full text of NYPD debt Jason Rivera's widow's eulogy. Box cutter wielding man walking on 10. Interstate fatally shot by police. NYC teen rapper charged with shooting NYPD cop walking free on bond. Slain NYPD cop Jason Rivera was given a solemn final farewell on Friday as his grieving brother told the thousands of officers gathered for his funeral that the rookie's first love was policing. Rivera, 22, was posthumously promoted to detective first grade during the service at Manhattan's historic St. Patrick's Cathedral, one week after he was murdered in the line of duty. He was obsessed with his career in law enforcement, his emotional older brother, Jeffrey Rivera, said during his eulogy. When he was a child, Rivera would listen to police radio transmissions for local alerts and avidly watch police dramas on TV. His brother recalled, Cardinal Timothy Dolan blesses the casket of NYPD officer Jason Rivera during Rivera's funeral service. AP as top New York officials joined Rivera's family inside the church. A staggering sea of blue stretched several blocks along Fifth Avenue as cops huddled outside in the snow to pay their respects. Thousands of cops attended the funeral of fallen NYPD officer Jason Rivera. Paul Martinka for New York Post Rivera, a rookie cop was killed in the line of duty last week. Courtesy of NYPD via AP Rivera and his partner were shot by 47-year-old LaShawn McNeil. After responding to a domestic call in Harlem last Friday evening, Paul Martinka for New York Post thousands of police officers fill Fifth Avenue, outside the funeral service for NYPD officer Jason Rivera at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Robert Miller for New York Post Dominique Lazariega watches as her husband's casket is loaded into a hearse. Outside St. Patrick's Cathedral after his funeral service on January 28, 2022, in New York, AP photo slash Yuki Iwamura Dominique Lazariega, his childhood sweetheart whom he married in October tragically revealed the couple had been fighting the day he died. When they left the apartment together as Rivera headed to work, Dominique told mourners she called an Uber, instead of having him drive her, because she didn't want to keep arguing. You said it might be the last ride I give you, Dominique recalled. I said no, and that was probably the biggest mistake I ever made. A police officer reacts during the funeral service for New York City police officer Jason Rivera. Reuters NYPD officers standing in line ahead of the processional wiped tears from their faces. During the funeral of Officer Jason Rivera at St. Patrick's Cathedral, Getty Images a priest hugs the wife of Officer Jason Rivera during his funeral at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Getty Images Governor Kathy Hochul was also among mourners paying their respects. AP family members of New York City Police Officer Jason Rivera follow as NYPD officers carry his casket. After his funeral mass, AP Rivera and his partner, Wilbert Mora, were fatally wounded in Harlem just hours later. Dominique broke down as she recalled the horror of seeing a cell phone alert about two officers being shot and how she frantically tried to reach Rivera to see if he was okay. I'm still in this nightmare that I wish I never had, full of rage and anger, hurt and sad, torn, she said. Cardinal Timothy Dolan and NYPD Inspector Clint McPherson joined Dominique Lazariega as Jason Rivera's casket. Leaves St. Patrick's Cathedral. AFP via Getty Images A woman hugs a police officer during a funeral service for NYPD officer Jason Rivera, who was killed in the line of duty while responding to a domestic violence call at St. Patrick's Cathedral in NYC. Reuters His service was open to invited guests only, but was live-streamed for the public. Paul Martinka for New York Post The Sea of Blue near St. Patrick's Cathedral ahead of the funeral service for Officer Jason Rivera. Reuters The system continues to fail us. We are not safe anymore. Not even the members of the service, Dominique said as she blasted Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. I know you were tired of these laws, especially the ones from the new DA. I hope he's watching you speak through me right now. I'm sure all of our Blue family is tired too. But I promise, we promise, that your death won't be in vain. Mayor Eric Adams, himself a retired NYPD captain, said Rivera gave his life defending his fellow New Yorker. Top officials joined NYPD cops at the funeral for Rivera. AFP via Getty Images members of the NYPD attend a funeral service for NYPD officer Jason Rivera. Reuters NYPD officers gather outside for the funeral of officer Jason Rivera at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Getty Images the funeral mass will be followed by a private cremation ceremony in Westchester County. Paul Martinka for New York Post Hisner said he saw a reflection of himself in Rivera because the rookie joined the department with the hopes of improving it. He did it for the right reasons. He wanted to make a difference, the mayor said. The hearts of 8.8 .8 million people are reaching out in mourning today. Adams added, We know he's always with us, and this city will become a better place because of his sacrifice. Mayor Eric Adams speaks at the funeral for Officer Jason Rivera. Pool slash AFP via Getty Images, the widow and parents of Wan Jian Lu, 
The NYPD cop executed alongside his partner in Brooklyn in 2014, were in attendance. Reuters New York police officers gather outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. AFP via Getty Images a hearse carries the casket of Jason Rivera. Reuters NYPD Commissioner Key Chant Sewell said Rivera was everything the NYPD and the city needed him to be. Governor Kathy Hochul, Attorney General Letitia James, and Senator Chuck Schumer were among the other dignitaries present to pay their respect. Also among the mourners were the widow and parents of Wang Jian Liu. The NYPD cop executed alongside his partner in Brooklyn in 2014. Liu's family were hugged by several officers before making their way into the church. Mayor Eric Adams attended Rivera's funeral services. Paul Martinka for New York Post Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul stood beside cops, some silently weeping. As Rivera's casket was carried out of the church after the service, the hearse carrying his coffin was then escorted to the Ferncliff Cemetery in Westchester County for a private cremation ceremony. Members of the public were invited to gather on several overpasses that overlooked the thruway in Yonkers as the officer's body was taken to the cemetery. Rivera's funeral service was only open to invited guests, but everyday New Yorkers still gathered as snow fell outside the church to honor the slain officer. Attorney General Letitia James was in attendance on Friday. Paul Martinka for New York Post I just have to be here for him and his family, Isaac Krinsky, 61 of the Lower East Side, told the Post. He gave his life not just for me but for all New Yorkers. They put their lives on the line for all residents of the city and pay the ultimate price. Miguel Melendez, 60, and his son Mason, 10, traveled from their home in Baldwin Harbor in Nassau County to claim a spot outside the cathedral. It's a tragedy what happened, Melendez said. If it didn't touch your heart, you're not human. NYPD Commissioner Key Chantel Duel was among the thousands of attendees. Paul Martinka for New York Post I woke my son up at 5.30 a.m., pulled him out of school and said, you're coming with me to see how someone paid the ultimate sacrifice for trying to unite our community. This hatred towards cops has to end. It is unspeakable what has happened. Jim O'Neill, a retired NYPD detective, said, I think he's definitely a New York hero. He gave it his all. I admire the man that he was and am feeling great sorry for his family. Things like this just break my heart to see what is happening. It's just a very challenging time right now. I'm here to support the job that I love so much and the people that I admire and respect. New York police officers gather for the funeral of police officer Jason Rivera. Robert Miller for New York Post Sam Pirazzolo, a 58-year-old Staten Island optician said bail reform and defund the police had turned the people who protect us into villains. How many more people have to die? Police officers killed, people pushed in front of trains, little girls shot in the head, the city is burning, he said. Hopefully today will be a turning point. The cops who attended the service trekked in from other U.S. cities, and even as far away as France and Germany. The NYPD said, every police officer, from superintendent to a rookie new on the job, We've all responded to a domestic and know how dangerous it is, said Chicago Police Department Detective John Sullivan. Newark Police Captain Hector Orocho added, We have the back of our brothers in blue in the NYPD. Different badges, same job. Today was somber, but it's uplifting to see officers from all over the country here. Rivera was killed when deranged career criminal LaShawn McNeil ambushed him and his partner, Officer Wilbert Mora, during a domestic violence call in Harlem on January 21. Rivera married his wife, Dominique, in October. Dominique Rivera slash Instagram Mora, who died Tuesday from his injuries, is due to be mourned at a funeral at St. Patrick's next week. The suspect was shot by a third officer, rookie Sumit Sulon, during the attack on Rivera and Mora and died from his wounds earlier this week.